broadcasting live on Spreaker and on uh, we're, we're doing a video of this as well so you can listen and you can see there's not a lot to see really um, but we are broadcasting uh, using, using if I can get my words out using the uh, Spreaker studio app and in addition to that you can see the video at woodlane.net and it's it's always it's always been very important for me um, when we've been doing this to make sure that I use this as an opportunity not not just to talk about the research that I've been doing but also to, to talk about the the process and and that's what this sort of is so it's the process um, and one of the things I was doing when I was at Salford we had a module which I really enjoyed looking at um, schedules or a bit of the module looked at, at the schedules of the programs the radio times that kind of thing and and for me it, it's always been very important um that the um when i when i talk about this the research it's 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 in the round so people understand that i was i was doing research i was conducting research on uh, the history of television center but also in addition to that um i was i was doing other research as well and it also comes together you have to do research different modules you do research looking at um or, or you, you do modules looking at um, how to do research for instance it, it's all these different things um and it, it's all part of the the research process that you have to learn how to do research um uh, and one of the things I was doing was was just going through all the all the old um, television guides to BBC One and BBC Two, looking at what used to be on. And this this has always been uh, something I've done, and it's something which I will I will share as part of my um, my my Woodlane.net project. Well, looking at the schedules, what I'm doing here, well you can't see this, but is I'm I'm giving the episode. A title just it helps me to, to sort of know where I am rather than saying uh, 25th of February which is today part one part two part three this is called painting the reason being it took me ages doing this it's a bit of paper <laughs> I had to I had to, I had to write it I had to use it with sticky tape there's uh, paper involved lots of engineering went into this it's a very cheap graphic for those of you who are looking at the video. Those of you who are listening have no idea what I'm talking about. But um, in the two minutes I have left, I shall explain that I'm looking at, on this day in history, 25th of February, 1986. It is 86, isn't it? Yes. Give yourself some space. And I shall go through with you some of the, um, I'm getting bits of fluff from my woolly hat um, on my face, but that is another another story. Is it time to stop wearing the woolly hat? Um, I'm asking myself that every day. But anyway, so on this day, BBC One, there was breakfast time and then play school. And this, this is where the, um, the painting comes in. The Queen's painting was the story. There was the news, there was Pebble Mill at one, Chock-a-Block, one of those uh, children's programs, sort of um, that you'd find today on CBeebies, sort of that age group, like sort of zero to, to six or whatever. And then the good kitchen, uh, revealing the secrets of the simple ways to save in the supermarket and uh, cooking some unusual dishes every day. Uh, the parent program, the parent's lot is not always a happy one. Babies don't seem to be welcome outside your home and people just aren't helpful on buses or in shops. And then there was children's BBC postman Pat. Pat wakes up late. His alarm clock has let him down. I've been there. Been there, done that. There was Laurel and Hardy, Hurricane Hood. I used to enjoy watching the cartoon, Laurel and Hardy. But um, it sort of disappeared. And then Jack and Ori, 
another classic program the BBC just said one day, let's not make any more Jackanories. I know they have Jack and Ori Jr., not the same thing. So this was told by Peter Davison. And then Battle of the Century, Banana Man. That was one of my uh, one of my programs I used to always watch if I could. Banana Man from the from the Beano, I think.